Hey guys, it's Daniel with Boss C351 Productions. Today we have a requested follow-up video on the Cobalt cement mixer that I purchased several years ago to do several projects out in my yard around my shop and things. Now, if you remember from the previous video, I showed you how to upgrade some of the hardware that came on the cement mixer that were substandard and mine had stripped out when I assembled the uh, mixer for the first time and it just was not meeting my specifications and for sure it probably would not have lasted very long. As you can see, I've had great success with my mixer. It is well used. It is covered with dirt, you know, leftover cement, although I've washed it. But I have used it quite a bit out here in the yard, and I have several projects upcoming for this mixer as well. Now, I've been asked, what do I like about the machine and what I do not like about the machine? So far, I like everything about the machine except for the front of it, where the wheels are. You cannot just butt it up to where you're pouring the concrete. You actually have to either pour it in a wheelbarrow or pour it into a bucket and then transfer it to where you're dumping it. Now, I've not ever used any other machines to, to do concrete. I'm not a professional. I'm a do-it-yourselfer, just like most of you guys. Uh, it, does, it does prevent you from dumping that concrete straight into your forms and that's kind of irritating but we worked around it and successfully worked around it something i do not also like about the machine is the little safety latch there at the bottom of the drum right about right there that safety latch is pretty much worthless uh, you can get it to work, but after a little bending, you know, movement, movement back and forth after each mix, you know, it loosens up. It's just, that's just a wonky way of, of doing a latch. It can be done a whole lot better by the manufacturer. Now, as for any other trouble with the machine, I've had none whatsoever. This thing trucked right along, carrying three bags, three 60 pound bags in it, or two 80 pound bags in it didn't miss a lick the whole time we were using it uh, also the the upgrades that i did in the previous video that i did on this machine has worked out wonderfully i've not had any failures whatsoever if you haven't yet go check out my video on what hardware and things that need to be upgraded on this unit before you first use it just to make sure it doesn't break down while you're in the middle of mixing concrete and your project Here's a look down in the drum. These fins are what mixes the concrete. Once you put the bags in and you're, you're a allotted amount of water, of course you can add a little bit more water in there depending on the consistency that you want to work with. Uh, cleanup is real easy. Uh, just don't let the concrete sit there once you're finished and, and harden because you're gonna have to go around it with a hammer hitting the drum to get the concrete to bust loose. Now I'm going to walk you through three of the projects that I've done. This one was done about 2020. What had happened is the uh, concrete truck backed up and backed up too far and crushed a section of my concrete at the end of my driveway. And I ended up having to cut it off. Well, that allowed me to do what I needed to do anyway and add drainage 
to the front of my shop. So as you can see, I poured this long section here. I also included the drainage in it. This was about, I want to say 66, 80 pound bags of quick creek to pour this. And it took us several hours, about four or five people, taking the bags, cutting them open, and dumping them in the machine. Now, when you're dealing with 80-pound bags, I only suggest that you use two at a time in the machine, anything more, and it's going to overflow out the front of the machine while it's mixing. This right here was a pretty tough one. It was in the middle of summer. It was at night. However, very humid. And it was almost, I hate to say it, we went through hell throwing all those bags. They are very, very heavy. The second project I did is this little dual drainage. At the end of the first project, I put in this and ran lines underground to the back of my property to uh, help get some of this water that drains off my driveway away from the front of my shop. There's a total of seven inches of drainage that's in here. It took about four bags of 60 pound concrete to create this. You just make up your forms with wood. Put it together, seal it off so the concrete won't run out, and just pour your concrete in. I found it easier to go ahead and pour the concrete into uh, some buckets and then pour it in here instead of straight out of the machine. The third project, two 46 foot runners next to my shop. This particular runner was 56, 60 pound bags of concrete. And what this is, is this is gonna be a runner for an RV carport. She said I had to build up some dirt. And in between, after packing the dirt, in between the dirt and the concrete, I've put down chipped rock to help with the drainage. Same thing under the shop. We put down chip rock under the shop when it was poured. And about two weeks later, I poured this runner. This too was 56 bags of 60 pound bag per bag concrete. Another runner. Now these two runners, each one of them it took us approximately an hour to do, it was cool weather. 60 pound bags were a whole lot easier to lift than the 80 ones. And there was two of us picking up and one person, one person spreading out the concrete and finishing it off. Mixing with that machine, it just made it a whole lot easier. It's a whole lot easier than trying to mix it in a wheelbarrow by hand. I must say this, this mixer for me has been worth every penny. I'm able to do things that I normally would not be able to do just for having that mixer there and being able to, to add water as needed while it's mixing to get the right mixture to be able to pour this stuff. And of course, you won't be able to call in a concrete uh, truck because you're not, you're not using enough concrete to make it worth their while to travel out to your house and supply you with the concrete. Like I said, all in all, this was a great buy, money worth worth spending. 
to get a cement mixer to do what I need to do. And like I said, I don't have any other uh, experience with any of the other cement mixers from like Harbor Freight or anywhere else. But uh, do consider this mixer for your current job or for your future jobs, or you might want to go try to rent uh, a mixer. But when you go rent a mixer, pretty much you're going to be renting something like this. Maybe not cobalt, but it'll be something like this here, unless you have a huge job. This is Daniel with Boss C351's Productions. I appreciate you watching my videos. I'm sorry I haven't gotten any uh, videos out in 2023, but in 2024, I'm going to work hard to get even more out. Again, thank you for watching my videos.